I'm quitting YouTube in 10 days. Alexa, what's the weather like? The current weather is 35 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for some sun and snow flurries. Snow flurries? Good morning! Welcome back to the vlog. This is a huge video and we're gonna talk about it through this entire video why the caption or the title of this video is what it is. But if you're not new here, hey y'all fam, welcome back to my vlog. It's day freaking 90. 90 days of daily vlogs. It's been an insane amount of time. It's been an insane amount of time. Oh my God. So much has been learned. So much has happened. So, so many things. But 90 days, if you're new here, hi, my name is Sophie. I've been vlogging every day for 90 days. And I've been filming, editing, and posting myself for the past 90 days. It's been a whirlwind of a time. And this is day 90. <laughs> It feels weird to say that, right? Say that out loud. I'm quitting YouTube in 10 days. I don't know, it feels really weird. I had a really busy day today, which is crazy because today I went to a YouTube event. Like I was invited to be as one of the top creators. I don't know why the top creators like that, but I was invited to one of the top creators for a YouTube event that I went to. So here's the deal. I am at the Google offices on Pier 57 in New York City. They're doing like a whole trends like showing. So they have myself and like 10 other creators and like 40 reporters. And we're just supposed to talk about YouTube, why we love YouTube, the cool trends of the entire year, like all that cool stuff. And like, I don't know why I get invited to these things. I feel like I'm not even a big YouTuber, but I also should not be talking down to myself like that. And I should be like, yeah, babes, you deserve to be here, duh. Like, why am I second guessing myself? But also, s imposter syndrome, sorry. Okay, I said it. So, uh, just come through the like event with me. It's just like a thing. The other creators are here, and then once we're done, um, did I press record? Okay, it's recording. Okay, let's go, take some content. <laughs> I made friends, just so nice to throw that in there. Okay, bye. All right, y'all, I have a confession to make. I'm leaving YouTube in 10 days. No, you're not. You're not allowed to. Yes, I am. No, you're no. not. And it's so interesting because throughout that event, I still felt like I didn't belong there. Not because of YouTube or anything, but because I still feel like I haven't figured out my creator journey yet. I haven't figured out what I want for myself yet. I think daily vlogs, I was hoping I would have more of an idea, but I think I'm a perfectionist, so I'm constantly gonna be seeking more and more and more. But I felt so, I felt, I don't know, it's always just weird. 90 days of vlogging. It takes a crazy person to vlog for 90 days, doesn't it? It's insane to me. No. Yeah. Good luck, baby. Oh, where in Brooklyn are you trying to move to downtown? Or Sophia? Thank you. Oh, it's toasty. It's great. After the YouTube event, I went to a Bayes event. <laughs> Dana 
Nyx Rose and I met Faith Montoya who are like incredible TikTokers and I told them too, I was like, oh my God, I've been doing daily vlogs for 90 days. And every time I tell people that, everyone is like, what? They're like, why? Like, why are you doing this? And then they ask me, is it working? That's what everyone keeps asking me. They're like, is it working? And when I ask them what they mean, they're like, are you gaining subscribers? Are you gaining followers? Are you, like, what are you gaining? Like, what was the point? <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know what the point was. And so I, sh I'll be very honest. I, what did I say? I feel like someone asked me and I was like, no, I f regret this sh They were like, what the f And I was like, yeah, I regret daily vlogging. Like the whole point before I started, when I promised myself was that I think the reason why I wasn't growing was because I needed to get to 100,000 subscribers. That was my goal this year. But I feel like I wasn't being consistent enough on YouTube and I didn't know how to find my stride. So I just didn't do videos. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do daily vlogging until I get to 100K. And I started, I actually started vlogging August 6th, I believe. A couple of days into August, I started vlogging. And I vlogged before I started posting my first video because my first video went live September 1st. Y'all don't, I don't know if y'all knew that. But I was so prepared to be like 30 days in advance and just rolling out content. But I'm not a YouTuber. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a filmmaker. I have no idea how to tell stories. And so when Fashion Week happened, this midweek, the second week of September, y'all were like, Sophie, why are you showing us video vlogs from Louisiana, like from Los Angeles and stuff like that? Like, we know you're at Fashion Week. We want to see Fashion Week vlogs. And I was like, oh, I messed up. And so I literally put some days, I put like four days into one video, five days into one video. And that I think that affected me because then I started having to film, edit, and post in real time. And so some days I would have vlogs that were like lackluster. You all could clearly tell I was just like picked up my camera and I just talked and I went to sleep because I was tired. And the other days were like I was so excited and passionate to vlog that I would like wake up and I'll record and I'll write and I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll post for you guys. And it's just weird because when she talked about people that asked me when they talked about do I like regret it? Do I have fun? I'm like, yeah, no, it was like a dumb thing to do. Like, I don't know why I did it because like I didn't get followers. I, I don't think I'm getting subscribers from daily vlogging because I think a lot of my subscribers right now are coming from YouTube Shorts. I think what I'm getting is you here, the person watching this. Because if you're watching this and you're not a newbie, then you've stuck with me for 100 days, for 90 days. And so I only don't regret this because I think you got to experience a different side of Sophie that very few people in this world can say they've experienced. And I think that's pretty cool. If you've watched every vlog from day one to 90, please comment down below. I wanna know, I wanna say hi, because I think to me that's the special part of this. So after my base event, I ended up going to my friend Lao Luz to hang out for a bit. And I met Mr. Easy. And if you're not a Nigerian or an African, then Mr. Easy is an incredible artist, creative, everything and more curator. Um, so I hung out with him for a bit. We had lunch and dinner. He's a good friend of mine. And then saw his wife, the beautiful Tamiya Tadala. She's gorgeous. It was just fun. So we hung out for a bit and we had the craziest thing happen to us. And it's so mad that like, I didn't think to vlog it because I was still in shock about what happened. But <clears throat> we're in my friend Lalu's studio and he he's in the lower studio and the person, like there's a studio above him. And we have to take our shoes off because my friend Lalu's studio, it's like all like paint. Like he's an artist, so he like covered the entire space in art. And so you can't walk on the art without, with like only socks and stuff. And I just hear, something getting thrown down the stairs and i look up and there's this lady who's throwing our shoes down the stairs like she shows she threw my shoes she threw tamio tedela's shoes we're looking like what is going on so i go up there and easy comes up with me and laulu's uh friend comes up with me as well i forget her name now and i feel so bad i think it's nomi i'm not sure she comes up with us and we're looking at her like excuse me did you just throw 
a shoe? Like, did you just throw our shoes down the stairs? And she's like, yes, da 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 da. She's told Laulu, like, it's her space. We need to respect her space. We're like, we don't even know what beef you might have with the tenant who lives in your studio. But to throw our property down the stairs because you don't think we're respecting your. Like, I've never seen that kind of thing before. Like, she literally picked up Timmy or Tedela's shoes, a friend of mine. I don't know why I said a friend of mine like that. Because I feel like if no one, if you're watching, they know what Timmy Otella lies. It makes sense for context to be like a friend of mine in this situation. Picked up her shoes and threw it. Picked up my shoes and threw it. Rolling down the stairs, jackets down the stairs, all of that down the stairs on the floor because you're upset. And we try to explain to her, like, ma'am, you can't do that. We're visitors. You cannot do that. And she's like, I'm feeling very attacked right now. Don't intimidate me. I'm going to call 911. Hey! You're gonna call 911? Huh? Y'all. And it was, you know, it wasn't someone who looked like me. And we were so lit. I was so mad. Because, like, I've never been in that big of a situation before where, like, she was blatantly wrong for touching other people's property. Like, she could have just come to us and said, excuse me, this is not your space, can you move your stuff? Gladly moved it, because I didn't know what politics was involved in the place. I'm a visitor. So for you to throw people's shoes down, and then one of the other receptionists, I'm like, excuse me, is this how you guys run your business? This is really unfair. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, I'm a visitor in your space. If I wanted to rent your space or come get some work done, I can't because of how disrespectful you are. And the lady's like, oh, so you're doing me work here. That's why you're so entitled. He Entitled? You threw my shoes down the stairs. Do you know how much that shoe was? Anyways, so that was an interesting night. After all of that nonsense, I walked. It's so cold in New York. I walked all the way to the new uh, to the YouTube offices again because they were having like all the creators now. Like, so it wasn't just me. It was like a bunch of other creators. And this is where things got interesting because I was like, you know what? I just want to ask people whether or not they would ever quit YouTube because. I think YouTube is the hardest platform to grow. I really think it's the hardest platform to grow. I think it is hard, it is long-term, is intentional, is intense. Not everybody can do the easy, just upload a video and go on, you grow, like it's so hard. Especially with short form, attention spans, so many trends. YouTube is such a vast universe that it's so hard for people to conquer. Let me know if you like tried to open the YouTube channel and you're like, I'm struggling. Cause same, babe, same. Even though you're watching me right now and going, oh my God, you have so many subscribers, you have so many this. I'm still looking at you like, yeah, but my analytics are not right. Or my view count is low. Like it's, oh, at the end of the day, like, I'm still looking at the numbers, even though I know I shouldn't and I just need to enjoy it. Is this is still work for me. So I asked a bunch of YouTubers whether or not they would ever quit YouTube. Would you ever quit YouTube? Hell no. <laughs> Never. Um, not right now. Okay. <laughs> but uh, if we ever have a family, family comes first. Uh, no, I think it's I think it's here to stay. And you know, whether it be consistent videos or you know fragments of it, we've seen creators do that and live a you know their entire lives with YouTube, and they can they, they can coexist. No, 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 I love YouTube. Yeah? You may yes. Have. I just started. Um, shoot, as long as it's working for me, no, but like, never say never. <laughs> How about hell no? <laughs> Absolutely not. I love YouTube, there's no way. Never. I don't think I would ever quit YouTube. That's like my favorite thing ever. No. Yay. No. <laughs> Everybody said no. These are not big YouTubers. These are just like normal humans, like normal people. So uh, I'm quitting daily vlogging in 10 days. <laughs> gotcha. I'm quitting daily vlogging in 10 days. So like day 100 would be me talking a lot more about what I learned the past couple of weeks and months, three months, three months. It's day 90 today, folks. It's day 90. Um, I'm gonna be quitting YouTube daily vlogging in 10 days and I'm so grateful that you've been a huge part of this journey with me and I love you very much I can't I can't tell I'm exhausted aren't I I'll see you tomorrow for day 91 <laughs> bye guys why am I waving bro